Tony and Troy, King of Cards, Season 1, Episode 7. Tony is sitting in the bedroom playing with her toys when Troy walks in. Nice outfit. I see you have on new clothes. How come Dad bought you new clothes and not me? Dad didn't buy me anything. It's called hard work. Maybe if you learn to get off your tush and do something, you can get a new outfit too. Whatever! Troy walks to a drawer and pulls out a big wad of cash. He goes to the basement and sits down to play with Jason, Rick, and Austin. A few minutes later, Tony walks into the room. What are you guys doing? What does it look like? Don't get snippy. We are playing board games, Tony. Calm down. Oh, can I play? No, we have enough players. Next time. Troy, Jason, Rick, and Austin are sitting around the table playing card games. It's very intense and competitive. Without warning, Troy stands up from the table. He starts to get very mad and flips the table over. What the? Well, I guess this game is over. Rick, Austin, and Jason leave the house. Tony follows Troy. What was that all about? None of your business. Whoa! Now you calm down. I am trying to help. I wonder why you got so upset with your friends. Just leave me alone. Fine. Tony walks out of the room. The next day at school, Tony and Kat are walking together. I am concerned about Troy. Yesterday, he threw a huge tantrum in front of everyone and flipped over the table. He shows up in new fancy clothes and has a big wad of cash. I know he didn't make all that money shoveling snow. Wow, that's insane. We should try to figure out what is going on with him. Yep, it's one big mystery. Tony and Kat walk up to Troy, Jason, Austin, and Rick, who are standing in a corner. Okay, I will see you guys after school. What's going on? Didn't I tell you to stay out of my business? Well, can Kat and I come with you guys? No. Why don't you and Kat go up to the park or something? I am telling Dad if you don't tell me what's going on. No. Listen. You two can come over here, but you better not say a word. Just sit and be quiet. Here's five dollars to make that happen. Troy hands the money over to Kat and Tony. Make it twenty. You are robbing me. He hands them $20 a piece. If you weren't such a jerk, we wouldn't be. Later that day, Troy is standing outside the private entrance into the basement and letting multiple friends in the door. He is collecting money from them. Tony and Kat show up and start to question Troy at the door. Now what's going on here? Didn't I tell you to stop asking questions? Now I gave you money, so go sit in the corner and hush. What's that noise? Tony and Kat hear music coming from the basement. Tony and Kat walk into the basement and there are a bunch of kids having a party. They are in shock. Tony runs back up the stairs to Troy. Dad is going to be upset when he sees you are throwing a party. He's not going to find out, now is he? He's going to come home and see it. No, he is out of town for work. Tony goes back downstairs and sees Kat enjoying herself at the party. She is dancing with Rick, Austin, and Jason. Kat, what are you doing? I am dancing, come and join me. No thanks. Tony looks frustrated, and Troy is completely out of control. Tony goes up to her room and falls asleep. The next day, Tony goes into the basement, and it is completely trashed. There are cups all over the place and food on the floor. Troy is sleeping on the couch. Troy, wake up! Troy slowly gets up. Uh, what do you want? Look at this basement. 
Troy looks around and sees the destruction. Oh, crap! Oh, crap is right! Well, let's see how much money I made. I can hire a cleaning lady. Troy pulls out a big wad of cash and starts to flaunt it in front of Tony. You think you are a big shot with your little business empire and fancy clothes, don't you? No, not at all. <laughs> I don't think I'm a big shot. I know I'm a big shot. Don't be jealous. This will catch up with you. In the meantime, I'm counting my dollars. Tony storms off. The next day, the kids are playing outside. Troy rolls up in a brand new shiny bike. It's beautiful. The kids are in awe. Whoa! That's a nice bike, bro! Thanks. Everyone is gathering around Troy in his new bike. He is gloating. You know I've been saving up trying to buy a new bike, and you go out and buy a top-of-the-line bike? I actually got you a little gift for your commute. Really? Troy points over to the bushes. It's over there in the bushes. Did you get me a bike too? You are so sweet. Tony walks over to the bushes and moves them around. She pulls out a tricycle. Everyone starts laughing. <laughs> Tony has had it. She is embarrassed and livid. You are a mean person. I hope you get what's coming to you. She storms off crying. Troy turns back to his friends. I thought it was the thought that counts. The next day, Troy, Jason, Rick, and Austin are in the basement playing card games. Tony goes to the basement and stares angrily at Troy. Now what? Tony doesn't respond. She just sits and watches them play. Okay, if I guess the card, I win. How many times do we need to go over the rules? Yes, that's correct. Queen of Hearts! Troy flips the card over, and it's a queen of hearts. Woohoo! Troy's face turns red with embarrassment. How did you guess that? Newsflash, you aren't that good at magic tricks. Everyone starts laughing, except for Troy. <laughs> okay, double or nothing. I'll take that bet. Me too. If you throw in the fancy outfit, I am in. I am not giving you my clothes, loser. What are you scared of? I'll tell you what. The new bike I just bought. You can have it if you name all 50 states. But if you miss one, I get everything I lost back, plus those fancy glasses on your face. I think I would look good in those. I don't know. I think you will look like a dork regardless, but I don't want to take your new bike. Austin, don't do it. You need those glasses to see. What do you guys think? I am an idiot or something? They all look at each other and shake their head in agreement. Forget you guys. I will take you on on your offer, Troy. Austin starts to name the states. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas. Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. Everyone's mouth drops open. Austin has a big smile on his face. Well, I didn't think you knew the states. Ha! I surprised you guys. I actually do read, you know. You guys thought I was an idiot. You could have fooled us. Austin, Jason, and Rick go upstairs and take Troy's brand new bike. Troy is still in shock, but he lost the game fair and square. Tony walks over to Troy. She thinks to herself, This would be the perfect opportunity to rub it in his face that he just lost everything. I hope you are okay. Why are you being so nice to me? I've been really mean to you lately. Yes, well, life can be humbling sometimes. I just lost my brand new bike. Don't worry. I have a tricycle you can use. You can still get to school. Troy gives a mean glare to Tony. 
It was a joke. The next day, Troy is back in his regular clothes and back to his normal self. Austin, however, is now driving the shiny new bike and is gloating. Tony walks over to Austin and pulls him off to the side. You should probably tone it down a bit. Why? I won this bike fair and square. I am the only person in that room that knows you missed Missouri. If I would have said something, you would be walking around without glasses right now and walking like the rest of us. The others didn't catch it because they don't know their states. Austin's mouth drops open. Shh. Tony smiles. Lesson learned. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe 